Hi everyone, just a bit of a quick video today. Um, I've made my like latest Doom set. I was a bit quiet with the with with this whole Doom film at the moment because I've been working so hard on getting this set ready and uh, I didn't really want to spoil anything for what I'm about to show you, even though I'm kind of spoiling things already because I'm showing you what the finished film's gonna look like, I guess. But nonetheless, um, I'll show you what I've been working on. It's taken a long time and it's taking me, well, it's cost me about a hundred pounds to make it. So uh, without fail, here it is. Yes, my biggest Doom set to make. Let's just stand that back a little bit. I've used the whole space basically to make this and I wanted to include as much detail as possible because the first level I've started out, it's fine, you know, it's quite a small looking room. Um, but then I want this to kind of open up to be like a really large room. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna include demons in this. I think this is gonna sort of like just set the scene. You'll sort of walk forwards Go up the stairs that I've made and open the door and then maybe, maybe, maybe we'll have the imp standing there. Now the imp, I've uh, used a little bit of spray paint on him, just give him a bit more depth. You see around certain areas, just makes it look a little bit more, a little bit more sort of organic looking if that's the word. But yeah, this, I'll, I'll take you through the set anyway of how it's basically how I've made this. Um, it's a lot of basically printing out. I've printed out loads and loads of sheets of A4. You can probably see the lines of where there they are, but when you stand away, you can't see it, so that's gonna work in my favor, hopefully. And I've used a bit of spray paint as well to kind of like soften the uh, the lines as where the, where the, the print, where, where the print stops sort of thing. So yeah, it's taken a lot. So what you got here, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, and then all up here as well, you can see how many of this, it was so much printing. And the problem is as well, is when you print this, it doesn't, you can't print it to the full page. It has a board around. So I had to cut round every single page. I'll show you another video of what I mean, but it, you, it, you, probably, you probably understand, but just cut around every single page. So there's so much cutting to do, so much sticking to do. I've got about a million glue sticks down there. I, I don't think you can see them, but I bought like 150 glue sticks and oh man it's a lot of gluing and um it worked out okay but basically like um i got some wood here and i wanted like two textures i was gonna have like the acid texture but i prefer this one and um i put I'm, i got these like wooden sticks and just wrapped them around in uh, this like stone texture can you see there and um did the same with the bridge as well this was basically like some wood that i got from b&q that i just wrapped in like this metallic texture and also for the stairs as well gluing this even with gorilla glue was an absolute nightmare to get this to stand up i've got loads of things underneath it but even then it's quite hard to make it stand up it's like playing a game of jenga <laughs> and um we've got the door here i mean from a distance you can't really tell but from up close all these things here like little sort of bits here they all stand out in kind of like um let me just show you a bit more up close they all sort of stand out basically i put like foam there foam sort of there and then underneath that more foam just to make it stand out a little bit a bit more like that and also with the door as well i sort of cut around it stuck them to foam made the horns a bit more kind of like rounded like that so it just looks a bit more bit more 3D and also I made it sort of out of wood around as a wooden frame around it as well just to make it a bit more impact so when you're standing back like that you can sort of turn and you might get these like I don't know I don't know how's it looking anyway what do you think so I have loads of smoke as well I might even have some flickering lighting I'm not too sure yet I don't even really know what I'm going to use this room for in the way of kind of like the storyline I'm kind of just like making it up as I go along but like, I'm not sure if I'll have a demon fight in here. I think I want this as kind of like just a giant room that you'll walk through. Maybe I'll have an artifact or something here that you'll pick up, maybe like a berserk pack, or maybe that might be too early in the film to have a berserk pack. But I kind of want this to be kind of like the room to show you that you're entering hell. And I've got these two barrels here, <laughs> baked bean tins. And I, paint, I spray painted these um, brown and sort of like a dark gray. And I've got one of these in there that we're gonna set fire to and do a little test run and see how that looks. I've got it under control, it's not a fire hazard, it's all fine. I've got it completely under control. But yeah, I think we're gonna go and do that now and see how it looks. So um, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think of what I could do with this set. Should I just have myself walking through, going up the steps, going into the door, the door opens, and then maybe, maybe when the door opens, 
you see the imp, or maybe the, it's all dark behind the door, you see these little red eyes glowing, and then the imp will walk down here and you'll fight the imp. It looks a bit daft the way I'm moving it like that, but like it will be done in a way that's kind of like more like more organic looking, more more realistic looking. Uh, when you hold the imp by a leg like that, you can get these really nice like movements. And then when I shoot it and blow bits off and blow arms and legs and heads off and stuff like that and spray blood everywhere, uh, it should look quite good, I think. Although I'm terrified about doing that because, yeah, a lot of work's gone into this. So anyway, let's light these and see how it looks, yeah? That didn't work too well. Okay, check it out. Doesn't that look flipping cool, man? Oh man, I'm really, really pleased with that. It looks just like the barrels from the game, you know, the flaming barrels. I think I've got an image somewhere. If I can be bored to put it up to show you, but doesn't that look great? Yes, I am very pleased with that. I think they're going out now. Oh, they don't last too long. <laughs> oh Christ, they don't last very long. Okay, what's this one doing? Let's blow it out. Oh. Oh, it looks like all the smoke. Wow. I like it. I like it. So, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you think. I'm really chuffed with this set. I think it's gonna be good, but I'm just not sure how I'm gonna film it because I put so much effort into it. If I just open up a door and go like that, it's gonna be a little bit quick because I put so much effort into it. But then again, that's filmmaking, I guess. Maybe I can have a look around like that. You look around a little bit like that. See the fires burning. Maybe we have a few close-ups of certain things. Sort of like that. Let me know what you think of some of these shots as well. I just sort of like, maybe you can sort of like look around like that as well. Yeah, that could work. Look around that. And then maybe the door will open. You see the imp, you come back out and that's when you have the fight and blow it up. But I think this is looking quite cool. I think this is looking quite good. So yes. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you once again for more games made out of cardboard. Have a lovely day. Just a shout to my patrons, the soldiers of cardboard, and also the captains of cardboard, Ryan Bean, Paul Keward, Luke Cummings, Ricardo, and Michael Heinish. I hope I got that right. Thank you so much, guys.